Hello. In this video we'll describe the VAS Experts BNG solution in L3 IPOE mode. IPOE L3 BNG interacts with subscribers via intermediate routers, so it doesn't see the original MAC addresses, and subscribers already have assigned IP addresses. IP addresses in this scheme are assigned statically or via dedicated DHCP server. The subscriber's traffic can be terminated, which means VLAN tag change, or not. These parameters define the IP addresses of the service elements involved in the client authorization process. The PCRF component is responsible for the platform interaction with the operator's billing system via the RADIUS protocol which is used for AAA. Authentication, Authorization, Accounting. To authorize subscribers, vendor-specific attributes are used that are unique to the SSG solution. You need to connect the dictionary, which is available after installation in the directory. The subscriber is identified by the login. There are two types of login and IP bundles. Single bind means that one IP address is assigned to one login. Multi bind means that multiple IP addresses or subnets are assigned to one login. Assigning services and policies to login means applying to all IP addresses associated with this login. To manage RADIUS services, you need to use service IDs. The required service identifier and profile name should be transmitted. Before starting work, services and policies must be described on BNG. This is how the authorization process goes. After receiving an IP on an external DHCP server, the subscriber sends a request to the internet. On the first packet, DPI sends an authorization request to the PCRF. This is performed only for those IPs that are specified as local. All others are skipped without processing, if services and policing are not applied to them. PCRF generates an access request towards the RADIUS server. Upon successful subscriber authorization, an access accept is sent with the required fields. The IP address, which must match the address in the request. Username, which defines the subscriber's username. List of services and policing that are enabled for the subscriber. If the subscriber's authorization is unsuccessful, or the subscriber's personal account is out of money, then access reject is transmitted, which must contain the attributes setting the restrictions for the subscriber. The IP address must match the address in the request. Username, which defines the subscriber's username. If the service list and policing are missing, then the default parameters described in the PCRF configuration are applied. After the authorized subscriber has paid for the services and is switched from blocked to unblocked, in order not to break the current session, change of authorization can be sent from the RADIUS server. Full COA contains only the changed attributes. This signals the BNG to change only those attributes. To simplify integration, we suggest using simplified change of authorization. This option informs BNG that the user's attributes have changed and a reauthorization is required. Upon receiving such a notification, BNG sends a regular access request to the RADIUS server. BNG is configured via the main configuration files, which are located in the etc. DPI directory. The purpose of each file is indicated on the slide. Statistics, errors, DPI and PCRF diagnostics logs are located in var log DPI. The setup process is described in the documentation. Follow the link in the video description. Thank you for your time. Contact us if you have any questions and for test request.